Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Um, so today I thought I would do a, a kind of a routine video of we get loads of questions around what we feed our pets um, and you know how often they eat, what a Malamute diet is, um, for Milo, how much he eats. So I thought I would give you the full routine daily video. Um, um, so we've got Milo and Teddy here with me. Um, and I will start with Milo because his is more exciting, to be honest. Um, Milo has a very um, snazzy pet feeder. We've got the Pet Libro uh, camera dual feeder. Oh, you're getting bump in there too. Um, let me just turn the camera around, that'll be. So this is it. Um, Milo's already been grazing at his morning portion, as you can see. Um, but yeah, this is the Pet Libro camera feed, dual feeder. Um, and it's quite handy because we can we kind of like double it up. So it's got a 145 degree wide angle camera lens. So this, the where it's positioned now on the worktop, it can pretty much see most of the kitchen. So you can use it kind of like as a home security if you just want to check up on your pets when you're not around. Um, it's also got night vision and motion. What was it? Uh, because I'm all going to read the instructions. And it's got night vision, it's got motion protection, sound protection at different levels, so you can use it as security as well. Yeah, so we, we use it not just to feed Milo and keep his food fresh, but just for like general security if we're out the house and we want to just check up on the pets, that's the perfect position to do so. Um, but I'll show you the app in a sec where you can uh, view it all and how we feed Milo and what he gets fed and then I'll come on to do the dog's dinner and that's probably going to get quite loud. This is it from the camera feeder perspective. You can see Milo eating his food. We do feed Milo separately because um, Teddy in particular does like to bully him and steal his food, um, as demonstrated here by Tedster. Um, but yeah, he is forever trying to get, get through Milo's dinner um, and it's always missing, so we have to keep an eye on that. So here's the app. It's at, I'm recording Milo live now. Get the sound. Let's talk to him. Milo? See the reflection. Milo, do you want dinner? Press this manual feed in one portion. Here it comes. Ah, look at him. Zoom in on him over there. Don't want your dinner. And then... I've got Teddy watching him from the window. <laughs> you enjoy your dinner in peace, my love. set a schedule here for every day I've already said it for 8 a.m to feed one portion and again at 5 p.m to feed one portion automatically and you can do it manually if we're out you can see him on the camera one portion is quite small Milo's a big cat so he probably needs two portions and the log of what's been happening Obviously, this is just testing. He hasn't been eating that much, like six dinner said. And the camera, the main feature. Have it in SD or HD and put the sound on. I can call him and take a screenshot being saved to gallery and see video is saved to gallery. So guys, if you are interested in uh, one for your pets, I will leave all the information in the description box below. I'll flash it up on the screen here for you as well. Um, but yeah, as I said, we kind of use it dual. We use it to keep his food fresh and to monitor his portions, keep him feeding separate from uh, the other dogs, but also just personally, just a little bit of a home security device as well. We do like it where it is in the kitchen for being able to see everything when we're not at home. So the dogs get a mixture of dry fruit. It's all grain free. Um, and they also have salmon oil every single day. Phil heard that. Salmon, Phil. Silly I, salmon. You're supposed to measure this, but I've um, used to it. Perfected the wrist technique. But it was mainly for their coat. I was hoping this was really going to help with Phil's coat. Um, and I've done it ever since then. Just kept it in there. Then What's wrong get, with Phil sneezing? He's excited. 
excited. Uh, they get wet food to share. So, oh, hello, Teddy. Uh, Teddy's not sharing. Teddy? Teddy's like a seal. Oh, wow, I didn't know you could balance like that. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so I split this. Oh, Teddy's like between all three of them. You get a third each. I told you this was going to get loud, I thought, guys. Mm. And then Phil also Sniff gets a concoction. He gets his gabapentin and his veteral. Uh, gabapentin is for his arthritis. I'll just slot that in there. And his veteral is his Cushing's disease. What are you saying? What are you saying? What does that mean? Tell us again. Oh! Speak. Speak. Oh. Oh. Uh, but yeah, that's what Phil's looks like. So I just slot his medicine in amongst the wet food. So that he can have it. Oh. And he has that twice a day. Um, and yeah, that is their dinner. And they're, they're, this is all they get fed once a day in the evenings. Um, Malamutes don't actually eat that much. It's surprising. Oh. Well, so we've read as, as experts that we are, they've got a tolerance for eating less because they don't find much in the wild and rest in the snow, so they've got a lower metabolism. Yeah, they've got, as you can see, they have a very slow metabolism. It's uh, weight gain is a major issue with Malibu's for us anyway. Says that, does his bum look big in this? It's not as tiny as bum look. No, but once they've gained the weight, it's so hard to get them to shift down. Phil's just got big shoulders. Teddy's perfect size. Yeah, Nico's. Princess is curvy. Still. Nico's just settled down. Oh. So, right. Yeah, that's their food. Okay. All right. Calm yourselves. Let's go. Say bye bye. So, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below.